Okay, welcome back to this, uh, this build and the third part of it. And where I'm going to be doing the priming and the spraying and generally covering up my mistakes, which is what I'm going to start with first of all. Not really a mistake as such, but I'm just not happy with the results. Plus, there's a reason behind it. Um, so here, here's the main gun that sits on the top. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to cover that up with uh, tarpaulin or tin foil or uh, aluminium foil or kitchen foil if you will. <laughs> uh, the reason why, yeah, I'm not completely happy with the results, uh, What, how this has come out. Um, plus if you ever look at military vehicles when they're not actually in action, um, they do tend to try and cover up uh, their guns to stop dust and so on getting into them um, yeah, when they're traveling around. And this vehicle will be traveling around quite a lot. Um, it'd be easy to pull off a bit of tarpaulin and uh, get the gun into action. I'm probably gonna leave the smaller gun uncovered as this will be sort of like uh, something that that can quickly put fire down on something whereas this could be the more heavier gun can be uh, prepared to put fire down so just moving out of the way a minute so you get your uh, foil and cut this as carefully as I can without tearing it too much sometimes it's better to get a new blade Too big for what I want. <laughs> Get some super glue. Cover the top. you have it so it's just uh, covering it up with tin foil. I can add some uh, oh, what's the word for it? <laughs> I can add some cotton uh, to this to make it look a little bit more like rope so it's like tied tied down um, so yeah there you go Okay, what I'm going to be doing here, uh, where I've put all this like camo net in, is uh, I'm going to be putting a bit of water with a bit of wood glue and some of this mixed basil onto it to make it look like so it looks like camouflage netting. Um, I did do it years ago on this on this the Acra Armour, the uh, SAS Land Rover. Uh, to cover up the frame and it did look effective but I have bought something special to put on the frame of this one uh, so it looks a little bit more camouflage in because uh, things have moved on since I built this which was a long time ago I might put some pictures up of this on the, on the side so you get a better view That's one side. Mm -hmm. 
So yeah, basically, put your mixture on. I did try doing it before I put the straps on, but it didn't come out very well. Also, I've put a, I've made a Pepsi, uh, Pepsi box that's going to go in there. It's all sprayed, so I'm just doing this before uh, I do any priming. Uh, so that's all ready for priming now. Uh, just wait for it to dry and wait for priming, but I can prime everything else now. then start spraying it NATO green. Hello, right, uh, we're back from the spray booth and uh, I'm quite happy with the uh, NATO green result all over and the tyres black. And, um, I did start painting some uh, bits black and I had a phone call uh, so I just carried on painting, should have recorded it but I've done the seats uh, with a normal black and then I've been using my black colours so I bought a box of black um, which I'm going to be doing another video when I do the tyres separately um, but yeah I did the seats uh, normal black and using this this black if you can see that um, I'm quite happy with the results just experimenting but uh, yeah I'll carry on um, painting the various bits black uh, so I'll just let the video roll Okay, what I also have done is um, I was painting these boxes olive green. I used a bit of olive green on the improvised camouflage at the back here. So what I'm going to do now is um, using some natural grey. Is uh, paint all the straps.
Okay, before we do any more dating up, it's time to apply some decals. You've seen me apply decals before, so I'm going to be time lapsing from now on. Okay, so uh, I've just been painting the uh, silver on the back of the wind mirrors. So uh, I'll do a little bit more on that in a minute. I've also been painting, can paint the uh, light fittings, ready for the uh, various colours that I've got to go on there. I'm going to do with the headlights is that I bought a load of these years ago, uh, years ago. They're little lenses, little reflective lenses. So I'm going to be putting uh, these in. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but it just makes it look a little bit more reflective, like little, real little lights. I might have to invest in some more of them because uh, I quite like them, they're quite good. Um, so now I'm going to be adding the colours to the lights, uh, yeah, the brake lights and so on. using the old Tamiya Clear.
Tamiya Clear Red. Okay, I've painted the uh, disc brake silver. Now I'm just using a bit of uh, metallic black to paint the brake itself and the uh, steering mechanism. Not that you're going to see it much. <laughs> I've got the as I've got the metallic black there. I'm going to paint the gun. Now I'm just going to put a bit of light rust. Okay, so now I'm going to do some uh, some washing. I'm using US uh, US Modern Vehicle Wash on this one just for the start off with Next thing I want to do is uh, go over some of the metal bits with a pencil. Okay, now I'm going to try something a little bit more radical. So yeah, I'm going to try something a little bit more radical that I haven't tried before. <coughs> I've got some of these. Uh, modern footprint stamps so what I was thinking wow I like it, it's come out really, really well. Can you see that? Okay, for my next uh, stage, I'll have to have a tidy up soon. For my next stage, I uh, bought some of this. I've used this stuff before on a, on a Challenger tank that I did, um, but the idea is, is to literally cover all of this in camouflage netting. So it's going to be tied around all these bits and so on and so on. That's the plan. So, my plan is we're going to do a bit of wood glue. Is I'm going to start at the back here. 
I'm gonna twist it like that. What I might do is get some cotton and tie some cotton around it. So the trick is, and I should have done this before I cut it off, is to stretch it open a bit. Right, with all the uh, camouflage netting put on, I'm then going to stick that bit to that bit, <laughs> which is going to be fun because uh, I'm going to have to be, I'm going to have to see the reference points. Okay, I'm now just going over the uh, camouflage knitting with a mixture of wood glue, or PV, uh, PVC, PVC glue. PVC. And uh, water. So yeah, I just added uh, a box there box uh, so yeah it's coming on really well okay so now that's uh, dried off a bit I'm gonna go over it with a bit of live drab just make it a little bit look a bit worn and Okay, now I'm just uh, applying some mud. Uh, using this Vallejo Vallejo uh, acrylic mud. Okay, so now I'm touching the uh, the wheels, but they're going to be slightly turned because I am having it so they're slightly turned. Like so, uh, the back ones are not turned. Wait for that to glue and dry. Okay, so 
I come up to the final parts of this video. Um, I'm not quite sure if I'm gonna, what period I'm gonna set this. I might set this in the 80s, I might set this in modern times. I don't know yet, I haven't decided. But um, anyway, got some European dust pigment. Doing the final dirtying up stages. And a bit of damp, damp earth. And just allow that to dry a little bit. Okay, then getting some of this uh, mud. Repeat that process all the way around, which I've already done. There you go. Oh, I know just the final uh, stages of putting the guns on. I've already, uh, like I said, I've put a canvas over that and uh, covered it all up. That gun. So there you go, it's complete. I will do a little picture gallery. Um, like I say, uh, this don't know if this is the final video because I want to put this on a little diorama or on a base. I have got a, a figure, but um, he's wearing a backpack. It's a wee figure, wee friendly figure, which is quite good. Uh, I've got some Berg, Bergens and things to put on. Uh, but because I haven't decided, I haven't decided uh, what what era to set this. So I might have set this in the nineties, uh, or maybe maybe like the eighties, or maybe like now in Estonia or something. Um, so that depends on the camouflage on the bird in the Bergen so I might do that in another video but this is pretty much the end of this video um, please like and subscribe please leave a comment in the comment section below please enjoy the gallery or oh, enjoy the gallery <laughs> bye <laughs>